What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my Pokemon Sun and Moon walkthrough, part 45. Okay, uh, since we've covered all the Ultra Beasts, we are now going to cover the mighty Necrozma. Now, this is not a, um, a Ultra Beast at all. It, it like it doesn't it doesn't count as one of those. So I'm going to show you how to get this one. All right. So firstly, you want to go to the Aether Foundation. Now, just bear in mind you need to do all the other Ultra Beasts capture all of them before you do this thing so if you haven't done that already check out my ultra beast episodes already and then i'll walk you through how to get all of them all right so we want to go to the uh, elevator whoops i just actually ran past this one now this guy was tricky to catch um i'll tell you that so i'm gonna just give you what you all the stuff you need to know beforehand all right, anyway, so as usual, we have a little bit of uh, dialogue dialogue and stuff beforehand, so we want to run down to the lab again. Okay, so just down here to the second door. Whoops, not the first door. Okay. We, have, we actually have backtracked here quite a lot here for the Ultra Beast. All right, so we're going to have Annabelle, and I think Luca's going to come in here as well. Now, as you said, you can uh, just fast forward past this little bit and uh, you can see the Ultra, uh, not the Ultra Beast battle, the uh, Necro, Necrozome, uh, oh, how do you say this? Necrozma, I think it's Necrozma, I could be wrong. Okay, um, it's, it doesn't really matter what one of those you select there. Yes, Mr. Looker did a great job too, he sure did, but I was thinking he left us, I uh, missed that bit there. Okay, here he is, he's barging in again. So basically, uh, Mr. Looker uh, is going to barge in again, and he thinks there's another Ultra Beast, but uh, all the Ultra Beast you know, trackers and things saying there's no Ultra Beast in the area, but it's like it's like a clue uh, for the Pokemon. And uh, there it was, a, a mysterious black something was zipping across Alola. Okay, so it's giving you, it's just giving you a few clues and stuff. Okay, and uh, Annabelle's just going to basically say. It's not it, and same with uh, Wick. Okay. Now, this guy is uh, a, a really, really high level, so make sure you bring a decent team uh, or some good typings, or you could get wrecked uh, pretty easily. Okay, uh, Mr. Looker... Uh, well, Looker is, uh, is is feeling a bit tired, and they're, they're going to go on a... Uh, oh, they're going to go on a holiday together. Okay. I'm just reading this text too. I think we'll go and eat my fill of delicious Alolan food. Yeah, that sounds pretty good at the moment. Sushi High Roller. Now, Sushi High Roller, that was in X and Y too, like the restaurant. I wonder... I don't know, has anyone actually done that yet? Is, is it the same sort of style thing? You can uh, get like earn money and stuff or getting like little pri prizes at the end. I actually haven't tried it yet. So uh, let me know if you've done that already or if it's even worth doing. Okay, um, she's off with a date with Nanu too, to Mr. Looker's disgust. Okay, now this, uh, you actually get a small mo a small loan of a million dollars from, uh, it's actually not a loan, I'm just joking. You get a million dollars uh, from uh, Looker just for all your uh, efforts for the Ultra Beast, which is pretty cool, because that's basically going to give you all your money you need to get all the Ultra Ball stuff. Okay, so you get a uh, little thing there saying all the UB missions are complete. And that's pretty much it for the Ultra Beasts. Uh, there's, they're not, I'm not sure, they're not really mentioned too much after that. Uh, there's nothing really there you need to know unless you want to read through all that. Okay, anyway, let's get on to catching this. So, uh, you're going to need a bit of stuff before you go there, but uh, we need to actually get to where we need to go first. Now, this is actually right kind of back at the start. Okay, let's just get out of here first. So, you definitely want to be getting some Ultra Balls for sure. Um, I got them on the like the, near the floating uh, re restaurant or whatever it was. I got them last time. Get some super repels too. That's going to be handy. Get some you know some revives, hyper potions, things like that too. All those sort of things are going to be very handy. So I, I I don't know. This thing has a very low catch rate. So yeah. Um, and unless you like, I'm not planning to use my master ball either. I want to keep that. Just it's always good to have that just in case something really yeah, like desperate happens or. Something really cool rocks up, like a shiny or something. I don't know. I, I definitely I just throw a master ball at it. Okay, so you want to um, fly there, and we're gonna just just showed you on my map there where I was flying. Now I did uh, actually cut a little bit out of here, so if you see a couple little cuts, that's just my editing. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back. Now, we want to go to Route 1 to the right there. Hello, our skirts. Now, go down here. Um, You can just... You don't have to go on Taurus. I'm just doing it because I want to go fast. So uh, just grab those things I said because you're going to need them. If you're not using a Master Ball, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's always good to keep your Master Ball there. It's all right. It's a lot harder work to use just Ultra Balls or whatever or Quick Ball or whatever the hell ball you want to use. I, I like using a Quick Ball and a... Ultra Balls are normally my favorite. You can even you can even use your Beast Ball if you want, but your Beast Ball will not work like it does against the Ultra Beast because it's not an Ultra Beast. So... Uh, Use them at your own risk, really. Okay, so smash them out the way of the Taurus. You actually did need it right at the end of the cave there. And uh, go into 10 Correct Hill there. There's a couple of items around here. So you may want to, like, just explore this little bit to pick them up. Okay, um, oh, I just better go back on my Taurus. So you definitely need your Taurus here to bust through a few rocks. Um, as I see, there's, there's quite a few items happening in here. All right, so go up there straight ahead. And you'll come out to, like, a rather large area, too. And now go to the uh, Farvas Hollow, and that's where you want to go. And you do want to start searching in the grass. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up a couple of items here. They're just sitting here, so I might as well grab them. That was a hard stone. That was a nugget, so you can sell that for some um, poker dosh. Not that it's really a, a matter now. Okay, but you can use your full restore there too, and you want, like, you only have the Pokemon that come up, and there's a burn heal there too. Okay, so just go in, like, a patch of grass, like here will do, and just, like, right around in there really with your max or max or super repel on and you'll make sure you have a pokemon that's uh, lower than level 75 and you will bump into it eventually just keep riding around in the grass okay we have a rock rough here i'm going to run away from that i kind of just want to see how quickly it turns up um with that on because all the other ones have been quite well, all the other legendaries that i found in the grass have been pretty you know are being pretty quick to find there okay um anyways I actually, I'm going to decide to use a uh, super repel here. I don't think I want to put up with all the random encounters. So just go crazy on your Taurus and uh, yeah, ride around here and until you find it. You should you should eventually like bump into it. That's just how it works. It may take a little bit, but uh, you'll eventually do it. Imagine how dizzy that Taurus would be. Okay, here we go. Now uh, we're going to bump into the neck. Necrozma or Necrozma Necrozma yeah it looks pretty badass it actually does look like an ultra beast but it isn't one so don't get confused there all right so it's uh pumping at level 75 it's uh pretty much it's a, it's a beast so uh make sure just you need to uh, get it in some good range there. so it's actually uh it's weak to uh what's that it's weak to my signature move there so that's good um, so I used my signature move. So that did quite a decent chunk of damage there. It's got um, Iron Defense too. So I thought here, well, this could be really close. I could get it in some nice range. So I went for the Shadow Ball, just took the risk there, and it lived on one health. I was like, holy shit, that was close. I'm not sure what happens if you faint it. If you can find it again, you, you, you might be able to, but I, I don't know. I wouldn't risk it. It's not an Ultra Beast. Okay, so since we're on uh, one health, I thought this would be, you know, it's a perfect range to catch it. And uh, I just decided to go a quick ball here. I, I probably should have just used that at the start because quick ball is better when you use it straight away instead of like using attacks. So it breaks out of there. So I was like, okay, I'm not really surprised there. All right, guys, you can sit back and relax and uh, just watch this. This was this was quite frustrating.
Okay, so this took so many goes to finally get this thing. So I had a lot of late, late breakouts. I thought this thing was eventually going to struggle to death. But finally, I threw my last Ultra Ball and I got it with Muck, the real MVP. And man, this was a pretty, this was a pretty tough one to catch. Um, out of all of them, this was definitely the hardest one. There, I finally got it after a very, very long time. I thought I'd just show that bit because that's how I, you know, how long it took me to catch it. So it's, you know, completely uncensored. I'm not just gonna like cut all that out. So there we go. We have uh, Necro Necrozma, and uh, damn, it, it, it does, he does have a really cool look to it. I, I quite like its look there. Um, a real like black metallic look there. Um, really cool. Um, so you can see it's all it's typing and everything there. We don't need a name. Uh, for it, and we're just going to send it to the box with all the other like legendary beasts and things I've already caught. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope this helped you out. I'll bring some more of the legendary Pokemon, uh, maybe the Tapus. Okay, peace out, guys.